absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Moving on um, down in our program, I'd like to um, recognize um, and bring forward Ariana Stanberry to the podium or to the mic. Um, Ariana Stanberry, also known as True, is a graduate of Robert E. Fitch High School, a Berkeley College, also the Berkeley College of, of Music graduate living here in Groton, Connecticut. Ariana is here today um, to share a few words about their experience as black women living in this town and what this event means to them. Thank you, and I'm honored to see have you. Hi everyone, my name is Ariana Stanberry. I also go by True. My pronouns are she, they, and I'm really happy to be here. Thank you again to Portia for having this event. As I stand here before you today, I am an alumni of Robert E. Fitch High School. As I stand here today, I am an alumni of the prestigious Berkeley College of Music in Boston, Massachusetts. As I stand here today, I am a saxophonist, a singer, a musician, an artist, a black woman. But also, as I stand before you today, I am a citizen of the town of Groton who has never witnessed an event like this happening in our town before. And that right there speaks volumes. I came to the town of Groton at the age of six as an immigrant from Jamaica. Jamaica will forever be my home, but Groton and Mystic has been my temporary home for the past 16 and a half years. So you could say I've been around for a little while now. And because I've been around, I've been able to observe things as a child, a teenager, and now a young adult living in this town. Meaning, I have the ability to call out some hypocrisies that I've witnessed. With that being said, the silence that has existed in this town when it comes to amplifying black voices has spoken loudly. We see examples of politically correct ways to portray diversity and progressiveness sprinkled into our town, but where is the available space for us making up that diverse population to share our voices? Where are the signs in our town that make it clear that Groton is a safe space for members of the black community? There has been so much silence. Where is the support for black voices? Where was the support when my family member got racially profiled at a drug test at a Fitch High School dance? Where was the support when a high school classmate of mine told the AP US history teacher that there should be more black history taught in the curriculum and he responded saying that there's already enough? At Fitch High School, right up the street. Where is the support? You might be thinking, well, Groton does support black people, and you're not wrong. A few people here and there showed up to the Black Lives Matter protest in 2020 when it was popular and trendy. But what about the other hundreds who still fly their Trump flags proudly across our town in their front yards? The same front yards I have to drive by every day or the hundreds who are still so quiet about systemic racism within our school system. All that does to me is scream, we don't care about you. So it's not always about what is blatantly said. What is said can be hurtful, but what isn't said does the real damage. And I can confidently say that what Groton hasn't said and what Groton hasn't done for black citizens, specifically in this town over time, has done some damage. So for me today, this right here is not just a flag. It's a step, 
a step in the right direction to securing a sense of safety for black citizens of this town. It's saying we won't stand down. It's a history. It's a history that matters and that should never be erased. This is not just a flag. It's a message we are sending to the town today to show that our lives as black people in Groton matter. We are sending a message today that black citizens of Groton have a past that must be remembered, a present that must be valued, and a future that will be inspirational. This step we have taken today is a wake up call to this town, and I hope they hear us. So now as we stand here today, we are a people, we are a people who will dedicate our time and energy to amplifying black voices in this town. As we stand here today, we are a movement that is unstoppable. As we stand here today, we are a force that cannot be reckoned with. And as we lift this flag today, we are history in the making. As I close out, please repeat this after me. As we stand here today, in this cold town of Groton, we are standing with a purpose. I can't hear you. We are standing, yes. We are standing with power. We are standing with power. We stand here today. We stand here today. Because we truly believe. Because we truly believe. That black history matters. That black history matters. Black history matters. Black history matters. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black women matter. Black women matter. Black non-binaries matter. And black trans lives matter. And black trans lives matter. Not just online. Not just online. Not just when it's trending. Not just when it's trending. But every single day. But every single day. In the town of Groton. In the town of Groton. And I will do my part. And I will do my part. To embrace black history. To embrace black history. And to make sure black citizens have a voice. And to make sure black citizens have a voice. Each and every day. Each and every day. Because their lives are important. Because their lives are important. In this town and everywhere. In this town and everywhere. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was amazing. Looking at the program, I'm going to do.